Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to solve a huge fucking problem. I'm not going to, before anyone freaks out, I'm not going to get like super political here at all. Okay, because the problem that I'm going to be talking about right now, which you already know because you saw the fucking title of the video, this is beyond party lines. Okay, this is a fucking big problem that probably every major metropolitan area has. But I'm coming at it from the idea that this is a Los Angeles problem. So what I want you guys to help me with here is come up with some fucking ideas because basically what I'm talking about is LA especially central LA where I live has a huge problem with the unhoused um, or homeless however you say it and it's really difficult because a lot of the people are um, on drugs. I watch them do drugs on the street every time I fucking go outside. But a lot of the people are not on drugs. They're either in dire need of mental health services or they're just fucking down on their goddamn luck, you know. Um, I've seen, I've seen it all. Now I'm bringing this up today because I had to run some errands this morning, and I saw a lady who used to be out there every day, and she one time was gone for a while like maybe like two weeks and when she came back she was all dressed nice had her hair cut like looking healthy okay but within just like like a week was like right back into the same situation she was before and I haven't seen her in like a month okay and I've talked about this before, and um, I actually, I don't think, it, this that one's not in the Los Angeles book, oops, in the Los Angeles book, um, but yeah, if you've read my stuff, especially this, a lot of the stuff in here is about the unhoused, okay? Um, but anyway, so she's been gone for like at least a month. And I saw her today, and again, she had on clean clothes, her hair was cut, um, she looked healthy, and she didn't fucking, like, yell at people. And even when, like, last time, she got all cleaned up, when people would walk by, she would still be like, um, like, hey, motherfucker, you got a dollar? You know, and doing all that shit. But she just, like, looked healthy. But now she's not even doing that. So I'm hoping that she went to a place, got, like, the meds that she needs and shit like that, and is just back here because she has nowhere else to go. And all of the people who end up unhoused, they usually have an area that they will always go back to because... They know the area, they know the shops, they know the people, and they feel safe there. Because, like, honestly, when you don't have fucking four walls to fucking keep you safe, like, your safety becomes, like, the knowledge of your surroundings and the knowledge of the people around you. You know what I'm saying? But but this is the thing. Like the elections or midterm elections or whatever coming up in November, um, the mayor for LA, that election is going to be happening too. Um, council people are running for election and everyone 
has ideas on how to fix this. But there are a lot of problems with a lot of the people's ideas. And for one, <clears throat> and like I haven't read through everyone's ideas, whether they're a councilman or mayor, running for mayor, but I have been seeing their ads, um, seeing little things that are getting reposted on Twitter, and um, I haven't done the, I'm going to sit down and go through everyone's plans yet. I haven't done that yet. I'm just listening to what is being said right now. And the problem that I see, like both the Republican side of things and the Democratic side of things, both of them have relatively decent ideas on how to solve this problem. But they both have giant fucking roadblocks just right in the beginning of what they're talking about doing that is going to make it to where their plans will eventually fail. And a lot of it is based on party lines. And it's not going to work. And so, like, for instance, a lot of people have this idea that I'm going to share with you. And a lot of the idea is mainly the on the right side of things. But there are some people on the left who I've heard say things roughly like this and n neither of these are going to work. But basically give them the unhoused like take one of these like buildings or one of the vacant downtown buildings and just turn it into a place where like the unhoused can live try to get back on their feet and the whole fucking thing. But a lot of these places are like, but we're going to be drug testing you. So if you're doing drugs, you can't be here. Well, half, at least half, if not more than half, of the unhoused population are doing different kinds of drugs or alcohol. So if you say, I'm going to clean up LA, and this is how I'm going to do it, it's not going to work because the majority of the people that you're trying to help are still going to be on the street because you're going to kick them out of your facility. Now, I'm not saying that, like, we need to condone drug use and, like, hold the tourniquet while, like, they stick the needle in. I'm saying if you do that, that's not going to work. So ways to make this work, and what I've heard other people do is you could come stay here and we'll put you into... Um, like drug rehab stuff, like as soon as you get in, like you'll have to go to meetings and all the shit. And if you don't go to the meetings, then you have to go. This doesn't work either because unless somebody like wants to get off of shit, they're not like forcing someone into rehab does not like the statistics on does this work are very shit. So that doesn't work. So what you would need to do is just do a thing where you're like, well, you can stay here, but we're not going to test you or anything. And try to get these people into a better life. Now, yes, will the is there a possibility the place can turn into a flop house? Of course. But there has to be other types of protocol set aside to where these things can happen. So... The thing that, like, bothers me is that when people are doing, like, hard drugs, like smoking rock or shooting up or things like that, on the street, there's cops around, and the cops don't do shit. Now, I don't want these people put in jail, but I want these people put into some kind of, like, lockdown rehabilitation place. Because if that shit is still in their system, they're still going to want it. You know what I'm saying? So if people are going to be like hard on crime and hard on drugs, but just let people just sit on the street and shoot up and smoke rock, it's like, 
what like it, it doesn't make any sense but you want to clean the city up but you don't want to help these people in a way that can actually help you just want to like throw them back on the street so this whole idea is not good and honestly criminalizing drug users is not the way to go because once you criminalize somebody like there's no job that is going to take them if you give people felonies for doing drugs and put them in prison or in jail then they get out of jail and they go on an interview well why haven't you been working for the last year oh i was locked up oh shit okay or Oh, it says here you have some felonies on there. What's that for? Oh, I was shooting up. Oh. Okay, so you already put these people behind the eight ball. There's very few places that are going to hire any of these people for meaningful employment. Okay? So, taking care of how drug use is criminalized is going to be the first step to anything. Because honestly... Like, if someone is depressed and they're like, shit, I can't get a job anywhere. No one will hire me because of these fucking drugs. I have no house because of these fucking drugs. I might as well keep using the drugs because the drugs are the only thing that hasn't turned its back on me. Do you guys see see how this is? Like, oh, it's so fucking stupid. Okay, so there's that. The second thing is that I've seen a lot of people talk about and this is more on the left side of shit. It's these like tiny house communities, okay? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look them up, they're awesome. Like, I think they're a great way to go. But, 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 a lot of these things are like, well, you could only stay in the tiny house communities if you are from this area, like from this neighborhood. Okay, so, that means that they're only looking to take care of the people from that neighborhood. Fine. Well, when you tell, like, a giant metropolitan area that if you live or, or if you're from this one little place over here, you can get into these tiny houses, where do you think those homeless people who are not from there are going to go be homeless at? They're going to go be homeless at this area that has the tiny houses. So the homeless population on the street is going to increase when you do something like that. The other side of this is the only places that have enough space to create these tiny house neighborhoods are usually wealthier neighborhoods that have more space. So the second you go into like some affluent white neighborhood make a little village for the unhoused and then all of a sudden there's all these like homeless junkies in the park where every soccer mom is taking their kid to play on the swing you have to know that they're going to bitch about it like sure they want to help the homeless as long as they can help the homeless way the fuck over there they don't want to fucking help the homeless in their backyard Fuck that. There shouldn't be homeless people in their backyard. That's how they think. Okay? So doing this whole thing like that will never work. As soon as you start it, the way you have it structured will close it. Because taxpayers don't want to live in filth or whatever. But I do like the idea that the tiny home communities, what they do is you move into the tiny house and you basically work with like social workers at the tiny house community to find you steady employment and then find you an actual like apartment you can move into once you are making enough money to be able to afford to pay for the apartment and get you back into society that part of this idea is fantastic but again like, the only way all of this shit works is if you deal with the drug problem first. There has to be rehabilitation centers for the people who are hooked on the drugs they're hooked on 
without being criminalized for the fact that they need fucking help. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, these people need to be treated like fucking human beings and not the trash that's on the street. If you continually treat people like garbage, they will think that they are garbage and they will never try because I'm garbage. Like, if we are going to work at this as a society, we need to look at all of the members of society as equals and try to figure out how to fucking help everybody. But, like, there are so many politicians right now going, I'm going to clean up the streets. I'm going to solve homelessness. Well, how are you going to do that? We're going to make places for them to live. As long as they abide by all these rules, and if they don't, they're going to be thrown into prison, and um, we will throw away the key, and they will be multiple felons. None of that shit works. None of it. And when you have these tiny house communities, you have to have them everywhere, and especially you have to have them in places where the homeless population already exists. You can't have it in a place that has, like... Like, you can't do a fucking tiny house community in Burbank and, um, like, go, okay, if you're homeless in Burbank, you can live in these tiny houses. Like, it needs to be, like, like, the MacArthur Park area. Fuck, I wouldn't mind if you took half of MacArthur Park and turned it into a tiny house community. That would be fine. Especially if it fucking helps. You know what I'm saying? I I think there probably is something to be said where if you put if you clean somebody up in a neighborhood where they used to get drugs all the time, they would probably know how to get those drugs. So that might not be the best thing in the world. But then if that's the case, then you have to be able to do the thing where you take people who are homeless in the MacArthur Park area and put them in a tiny house community in Burbank and vice versa. If this is the whole fucking thing, you know, like, I don't fucking know. So basically, what are your fucking thoughts about all this shit? Like, do you have an idea of how this can work? Do you have an idea of how you can, like, fix all of this shit? Because I, I don't know if I talked about this before, but, like, one of the big problems that L.A. has is the tent communities. Like, people will just put up a tent, and then someone will see someone with a tent and go, oh, okay, I can put up a tent right here. No one's fucking taking that guy's tent down. So there's all this shit, and so you have all these tents. And then so, or even worse, like, people just, like, making structures out of, like, um, like wood and cardboard and shopping carts and shit like that and then like tying like a rope around it so it stands up um and you have a lot of that and the problem with this is is that the city will leave that for months and months and months and then just one day the cops come in and fucking wipe all of it off the face of the earth just tear everyone's shit down. Everyone's got to go. You got to go. Bye. So you're giving these people the illusion that they can, like, live and have some sort of safety for a certain amount of time. And then you're like, nope, you can't actually have that. Um, we were fucking around. We were joking. Get the fuck out of here. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to allow them to be there. And the reason why I say this is because there are cops. You guys hear when I do videos, sirens all the fucking time. And shockingly, I don't think there's been one since I've been doing this video. But the, I mean, there's cops walking by, driving by all the fucking time. All of these tents and stuff. So either take them down and let people know that they cannot do that or let them fucking do it. It, like this whole like sometimes you can sometimes you can't it's it's demoralizing it's like putting everyone on the streets into this like um sense of impending doom you know like i don't know it's either or for fuck's sake 
Oh, and then on Kawanga, like going over past the Hollywood Bowl, um, going out of LA and into the valley, or out of Hollywood and into the valley, all along Kawanga, there are all these like broken down um, RVs and um, old vans, just like a big long line of them that all these people are living in. And then they have like tarps coming down, down to the freeway where other people and shit are living. And, um, not to be a dick, but if you want to know where the stinkiest place in LA is, that's it. It reeks over there when you drive by. And the thing that's fucking weird about this is you have a ton of very wealthy million dollar homes right on the hill right there. So I don't know how like that has been something that hasn't been and I'm sure there's motherfuckers fighting this all the time. But I think there was a law passed a long time ago where um, there would be certain areas of LA where you can park your car overnight and like sleep in your car and have it not be um like illegal because there was some law that um like last year when I was doing my um thing for the Poetic Anarchy course the um go live life thing I did a couple things where I was gonna like camp in my car and go to different places and do different shit and there were quite a few places that I wanted to do that at and I found out I couldn't um, like you get arrested and then your car gets impounded if you get caught. So, um, that was kind of weird. So there are places like that, but whatever. <sighs> so I don't know this, this went long and weird. So, um, just what do you think? What can, what can be done? Like what would be your, um, like if you could talk to any, buddy and say listen to me I have an idea what would you say and then like in the town you live in like do you have a problem like this and if so how how is it being handled there you know let me know down below I would love to fucking hear this shit this would be amazing to talk about LA is Los Angeles is out now pick it up um Pharma Phoenix Rises this is my last copy of this. Um, and then that's gone. Um, preview of a Dangerous Mind out next week. And right now, um, the Alpha Hunter, book four in the Zombie Zero series, is available on Amazon as the first three books um, as well. So keep buying my books, everybody. Type hard and um, solve this problem. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the Creo or the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.